Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to rig a box so that you can fold it. Starting from this flat cube, I'm going to go to the character and create a joint and turn on my snapping. I'm going to move this over here, make a copy and drop it as a child and then move it here. Do the same and drop it over here. There you go. And uh, now I'm going to take this and make a copy, move it over here, make a copy as a child and move it over here. I'm going to get this, make a copy, move it over here, do the same thing and then move it over here. And finally, this one, move it over here and make a child, move it over here. And now we have defined all the joints necessary for our folds. Now, the next thing I'm going to move this up here is to select all these joints and that's very important. Go to object and make sure aligned on the Z to child, press align and now all the X axes have been aligned to the folding edges. Now for good measure, I'm gonna go and create one more joint which I'm gonna call it zero and it's gonna be in the middle. Put all the other joints over here, pull it down and our rig is ready. Let's go and bind it. So. Let's first make a null on top of this and call it root. Select all the joints and their geometry and go to character and bind. We are not going to use this binding. So go and shift double click on this to bring up the weight manager, or you can always go here, managers and weight manager. And let's go to zero and apply all hundred percent. So this owns all the weighting for the object. And let's go to each one now and define the points we wish to bend to actually influence. So is it this? It is this. So these two points here are owned by this joint. So apply selected. Let's find the next one. That's the one. Let's select these two points, apply selected. Let's go to the next one. It's this one over here. You can see it highlighting. Select these two points, apply selected. Let's find the next one. Here it is. Move over here, select these two points, apply selected, and then a couple of more joints down. We select these and say apply selected. Let's close this, go to object mode, select all the joints except for the zero and go to coordinates and set this to zero. And if I increase this now, you will see the cube folds perfectly. So I'm going to set a keyframe at frame zero. And here's my keyframe. Go to frame 30 and set this to 90. Add another keyframe. And now let's open the timeline. And let's stagger these animations to make them more fun. Select this, move it here, this, move it here, this, move it here. And let's close this and press play. And you will see that if I hide everything, the model folds really, really nicely. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.